What's up, YouTube? We have a January 23rd through January 25th edition of Motown Mail. We got the final two editions to the Hall of Fame ball PC. Um, I'll show those first. Um, first off, the newest member of the Baseball Hall of Fame. None other than Barry Larkin. Nice, uh, clean-looking signature on a, uh, what does it say, Leonard Coleman National League ball. Um, real clean signature, you know. Um, has some style to it, has some swag. Uh, so very happy with that uh, addition. Um, probably overpaid a little. Actually, I got that cheap compared to what they were going for, but in my opinion, they're still a little high, but that's only because he's the most uh, recent inductee. Uh, second one, uh, last year's, uh, was inducted last year, um, Roberto Alomar. Again, pretty sweet looking signature right there. This is on an official Major League Baseball. I'll just show the bring this down here. Again, real clean signature. This is actually from the uh, TriStar Hidden Treasures. Um, so, read a little bit about Roberto Alomar. It doesn't say he's spitting in a... Uh, in the face of an umpire on there anywhere, but uh, you can add that to his bio. But uh, nice Roberto Alomar signature right there. So I have every one. Um, I will do a video. Uh, some of you guys know uh, most of my collections in storage. Um, so I'll have to dig out all of those uh, balls to actually shoot the video. So maybe a couple days before I, before I go to the storage unit and uh, get all that stuff out. Um, so, but be on the lookout for that. Um, moving on, quite a few TTMs. I've sent out twice as many TTMs so far this year as I did all of last year. And we're only 25 days into the year, so. I think I've sent out, I sent out like 32 last year. I think I've already sent out 65 in 2012, so. I'll show those real quick. Um, or I'll show those at the end. Let's do that. Uh, first off, um... He's been playing real well. Unfortunately, it sounds like he's going to be out for a couple weeks now with a wrist. He has some ligament damage in his, in his non-shooting wrist. Uh, this is a rookie card from 2004-2005 Finest, numbered 299 of Luol Dang. He's on my fantasy basketball team, too, so I'm going to have to just suck it up, though. So, uh, again, numbered to 299, Luol Dang, rookie auto. Uh, I got this nice uh, two-color, two-color uh, dual patch from 2011 Gridiron Gear Game Breakers, Michael Turner. This is number 13 of 25. Right there. Uh, bought a pack from Al, Gindy3290. I put his link below. Uh, more people should have gotten bought these packs. They were a uh, real good deal. Excuse me, Mountain Dew break for the win. Um... Seven fifty a pack shipped, and you were guaranteed either a Tony Douglas auto, which I actually needed, and I was kind of hoping I'd get one, uh, which I think there were thirteen Tony Douglas packs, and then there was two David Lee packs, and I got the David Lee pack, one of the two. Uh, but still, a great deal, um, nice uh, addition to the YouTube PC right there. It's pretty cool though because I already had this David Lee rookie auto from SPX. It's number two, uh, fourteen ninety nine, but the one I had came from eBay, dude. Uh, who shipped it in a PWE, so there was creases all over it. So it's nice to get a nice, um, clean, mint condition rookie auto of uh, David Lee, who's playing with the Golden State Warriors now. Uh, so that was nice. Um, we got that. This is all for seven fifty ship, by the way. And that probably cost me nine bucks just for, on eBay. Um, got this first certified auto of Michael Morse, who hit thirty one home runs last year with the Washington Nationals. This is from Topps Lineage. Nice card right there. Definitely got my value easily in this pack. Got a Tony Douglas uh, rookie jersey from Rookies and Stars. This is number to 299. And Al Harrington dual jersey from uh, just regular 2009, 2010 upper deck. And that's numbered to 550. So, Al, thanks a lot for the pack, my friend. Really appreciate it. Uh, now, onto the TTMs. Um, First off, um, this was a nice surprise. Former Gold Glove catcher, I believe he won the Gold Glove. Um, at least one year, I think. 
Um, Charles Johnson, he hasn't been, he hasn't signed too much over the years, but all of a sudden he started signing through the mail, so sent uh, two cards to him. Turned out real nice. Pretty much every single letter in his signature right there. Uh, I actually got him in person when I was like 12 years old when he was playing for the Baltimore Orioles on an index card. No, that's all I had with me at the time. I met him outside of uh, what was then Comiskey Park. So nice return right there. Uh, I got Mr. Bob Anderson on a 1961 Topps card, former Cubby. So I got that, and he signed both index cards. Got Alan Bannister on four cards. Um, got this 81 Tops, 84 Donruss, 82 Tops, and a 77 Tops. And I didn't ask him to sign any the index cards, but he did anyway. I just kind of threw him in there for protection. So, got six autographs from Alan Bannister. Really nice return there. Um, Tom Hausman. Signed a pair of 1970 or 19, 1980. Sorry, 1980 tops. Signed this nice 82 tops and the 1981 tops. And like Mr. Bannister, Mr. Hausman signed both protective index cards. So nice bonus right there. Very happy. Um, got Reggie Cleveland, former Red Sox, Brewer. Um, on five cards, now he, ch he charges one dollar per signature, I'm not sure if it goes to charity or his own pocket, but I figured a dollar per signature, you know, pretty sweet. So, 1975 tops, got a 1982 tops, got a 1981 Fleer, we have a 1981 tops, and finally a 1973 tops. Again, a dollar per signature, so I included a five dollar bill with that request. And finally, uh, former pitcher Andy Bennis signed four cards. I only have three here. It must be uh, somewhere else. Uh, Andy Bennis on a 92 Fleer, 92 score, and a 94 Flare. So that one turned out real nice. So uh, that is all I got for now. Um, I will hopefully have a video sometime the rest of the week. So, um, I'm having some, I'm, uh, I'm, I'm suffering from vertigo since Sunday. Vertigo is where your balance is all screwed up. Um, if I bend over to grab something off the floor or whatnot, I pretty much fall over. And uh, I'm okay if I'm looking forward. Um, as long as I keep my head level, uh, but I'm going to the doctor on Monday to make sure uh, there's nothing majorly wrong with me because uh, I've been having some pains in my head. So um, hopefully there's nothing majorly wrong with me. And uh, also I chipped about an eighth of my tooth off on my molars, so I get to have that done. So uh, nothing I'd rather spend my tax refund on than uh, dental work and medical uh, expenses. So um, so hopefully, like I said, hopefully it's nothing major. But I'll keep you guys updated on that. So. Um, that's all I got for now. I want to thank you all for watching, and as always, please stay safe.